Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome to another episode of Oilers After Dark post-game reaction. My name is Matt. The Oilers win, the Oilers win, the Oilers win, the Oilers win. Play La Bamba, baby. Seven times in a row. Never gets old when you say the Oilers win. Losing gets old. Losing's not fun. Winning is fun. And Oilers are winning a lot lately. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to push subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Let you know every time we make a video where we go live. Let's get into it. The Oilers started out hot and started out early, as you can see here. First goal of the game scored by Derek Ryan late in the first period, 1836. So about 224 left in the first period. Derek Ryan scores, assisted by Sam Donye and Brett Kulak. Third goal of the season for Derek Ryan. Good on you, sir. Good fourth line pressure there. I'd like to see fourth line depth scoring. Who says yours don't have depth scoring? Not to be outdone, though, in the second period, Evan Bouchard. Bush bomb on the power play. Eighth goal of the season, 11-game point streak. Get into more of that later. Dry Seidel and Hopkins with the assists. Of course, you got to see the end result, but you can't just see the first part, right? No, no, no. Oh, Schmid has no idea where the heck that puck was. We're going to get more into Smeed later. Also, I feel bad for Brown. He should have got his first goal of the game. Unfortunately, Kane had a little bit of goalie interference. I call shenanigans, but it's okay. Brown, you're going to get that goal, buddy. You're, you're going to get it. Speaking of Connor, look at this guy. So we're going to see this again. Schmidt in the corner here playing the puck. That's Hyman kind of holding him. Kind of pinning him against the wall. Could have been a goalie interference call. But we got Hyman here, Kane here, and look who's all alone coming from the circles into the slot right by the net. Oh boy, you cannot draw this up any better. It's Connor McDavid. Oh, just a thing of beauty right there. <laughs> he's like right in front of that and he's like, I got this. Hold my beer. Oh, my beer. Easiest goal, Connor McDavid scored his 10th goal of the season, assisted by Kane. I feel Hyman should have got the secondary assist, but it is what it is. Also, this was in the third period. Shots are obviously too many to not enough, and the score is done. Unfortunately for the Oilers, legitimately 30 seconds later, Bratt scores, makes it 3-1 Edmonton. Now, now, they could have collapsed. They could have said, oh, shoot. No, no, my friends. Fourth goal of the game by the Oilers with 3.09 left to go in the third period. Empty netter. Evander Kane assisted by Connor McDavid. Now, holy smokes, you'd think, wow, Skinner did pretty good. 26. Wait a minute. That's not Skinner in net. That is Calvin Picard. Holy Captain Kirk or Captain Picard. I'm going to pick Picard on this one. What an outing, what an outing, and late in that third period especially. He made an amazing save that led to this goal for Connor McDavid to Kane. Picard was the number one star of the night. I will not sugarcoat that at all. So yes, we are in seventh heaven for these Oilers. Let's get this beautiful little graphic made by BW. Thank you for this, sir. An Oilers production, seven, seven. Seven wins in a row for these Oilers. Remember how I was talking about uh, Bouchard earlier? A uh, little bit of Bouchard magic here for you. Oh my goodness, if I can get this thing up again. Jeez. There it is, there we go. Bouchard, Oilers' point streak by a defenseman is now at 11. He overtakes his assistant coach, Paul Coffey, with 10. And in those 11 games, Bouchard has 5 goals, 10 assists, 15 points. 
Not too shabby. 11 games, 15 points. That's a freaking pretty good stretch. Does he make it 12 on Tuesday against the Chicago Blackhawks? That's right. The next game that the Oilers do play is on Tuesday against the Blackhawks. The Connor Bedard show is in town. Should be a good one. I will be live for that at 8 o'clock Mountain, 10 o'clock Eastern. Be there. Let's go through the whiteboard, shall we? Because like I said, a lot of good things happened tonight. A lot, a lot of good things. Calvin Picard, congratulations. Also go through the standings as it is today. Shots were 30 to 26 for them. Oilers power play. Oh, for four for the Devils. What has this power play become for the Oilers? The PK is amazing. One for three for the Oilers on the power play. Again, Bouchard bomb is all they needed. Picard with 25 saves. Picard was the first star. 9.26. 9.62 save percentage. My bad. I'm dyslexic. Leave me alone. Kane, one goal, one assist, two points. McDavid, one goal, one assist, two points. I could have, could could have, should have, would have put Bouchard there. 11 game point streak. This was Picard's first win since January 28th of 2022. First win as an Oiler. Good to see. Good to see. Again, Ryan Gagne, Kulak, Bouchard on the power play. Dry Saddle, Atkins, McDavid from Kane. Pratt scores, swing it 3 1. Kane has an empty netter from McDavid. Oilers win 4 1 on a seven game heater. It is heating up in Edmonton. Will they hit 10? I think they will. Let's go talk about them standing since they are very, very important here in Edmonton. Vegas still holds the Western Conference lead with 43, Vancouver 37, LA 36. The Pacific Division is good. Then you got the Winnipeg Jets with 34, the Colorado Avalanche with 34, the Dallas Stars with 33, Nashville with 30 with their win last night, Arizona stays pat at 28, St. Louis with 27, Oilers with 25, three points back, two games in hand, Calgary with 25, Minnesota with 24, Seattle with 23, Anaheim with 20, Chicago with 19, and bring it up the rear of the Western Conference, the San Jose Sharks with 19. Boy, that Western Conference Pacific Division specifically, Pacific Division specifically, say that five times fast, is pretty good. Top three are from the Pacific Division. And then you got a log jam of Central with Winnipeg, Colorado, Dallas, Nashville, Arizona, St. Louis. But then you've got the two other Pacific teams that are supposed to be really good this year coming up. Who knows, can Calgary do it? I don't know. It just sucks that we do have a Pacific team that's not doing so well and bringing up the rear of the division and the conference. It is what it is, folks. This, Like I said, it's going to be a grind. It's going to be fun. Tuesday, we got Chicago. Tonight on the schedule, there's four games that mean a lot to the Oilers. The Coyotes are playing the Sabres. And the Flames are playing Colorado. We need a Colorado win, and we need a Buffalo Sabre win. Please, Buffalo, win it for the good guys. That's it. That's all I got. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. Please leave a comment and subscribe. Tell all your friends Tuesday. Bedard's in town. Going to be a good show. Let's hope the Oilers show up. Make it eight. Eight would be great. You guys have yourselves a good day. Until next time, my name is Matt. Peace.